Thank you everyone for joining us for our Tech Talk Tuesday. Welcome back. Uh, Nicole here with my buddy Jeff. And today we are going to be joined by a special guest, Jenny Lockard, who is the Director of Administration at Dayton Heidelberg Distributing. Really excited to talk to Jenny. Our focus for the episode today is on HR yep. technology. Yeah. Technology is huge right now. And I think everybody knows that as we've talked through this for the last, what, four weeks? Yeah. We've been doing this. Yeah. Hey, Jenny, quick question for you. I know what Heidelberg does, and uh, we're very thankful for what you guys do, especially during a uh, pandemic and everything that's going on. But if you can, talk a little bit about um, what you guys do and what, what Heidelberg does and your employee population, because I know you have quite a few employees. Great. Yes, thank you. Heidelberg Distributing is locally owned. We market and deliver beer wine, spirits, and non-alcoholics. Thank you. Right. <laughs> we I'm appreciate kidding. that. <laughs> yes. We've been in business since 1938. We have approximately 1,650 associates. Wow. We have nine local markets. We're throughout Ohio and Kentucky. And our associates work in those local facilities as well as out in the market, obviously. So... In the market, when you talk about the market, do you guys supply both the restaurants and establishments? How does that, how does yes. that kind of go Actually, any permit holder in Ohio and Kentucky, that's who we sell to. So any okay. of the restaurants, the bars, the stores, you know, big market to little wine shops. Gotcha. All our customers. Perfect. Awesome. Well, Jenny, I'll get us kicked off today with our topic around benefit, te benefit technology in the world of human resources. So really talking today about how technology has moved administering benefits forward. And I know Heidelberg, you're not really new to adopting technology in your HR strategy. You know, thinking back to when you first went down this path of making technology part of your core strategy, can you talk to us about some of the challenges you and Heidelberg faced administratively around adopting technology? Absolutely. About five years ago, our company had four different payroll companies. Wow. We did not have the same timekeeping method for all associates. We had no HR software and we had no benefit software. So we really needed a cohesive solution for the leadership and for our associates of the company. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure plenty of people in the audience today are facing similar challenges. So how exactly did you go about starting your process for evaluating technology? Honestly, we really didn't know where to start. It was all new to us as well. So we simply started searching the internet and talking to the local sales representatives that reached out to us, and we were hoping for a good solution. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you come a long way with technology, and I think that is so imperative right now, especially what we're going through yeah. with the pandemic and, and quarantine and all that sort of thing. But you recently partnered with our HR Technology Partner, Benefit Top no Technology Resources, or BTR as we, we know it. Um, Two-part question. Um, why did you evaluate your technology solutions again and, and describe the benefit of working with a partner like BTR? And I think BTR is, is something that we can really, really talk towards today. Absolutely. Due to our company growth, which you know thankfully was very nice, we were evaluating is, are we still with the right solution? Are we still going down the right path? Sure. And we had encountered a lot of salespeople. And what we were finding out is the people that were representing the company selling the software were not the people that designed the software. And, it, you know, it's extremely helpful for a company like BTR to help us dig through the muck and pro provide an objective opinion as to, you know, evaluating needs, evaluating cost, evaluating market averages, you know, a lot of things that we could not do on our own. We just did not have the resources ourselves. Yeah, I mean, similar conversations with all of my clients. I'm having that exact conversation. There's a lot out there. There's a lot of different and unique solutions. And it's really hard to know where to start when evaluating technology, what your needs really are. I think that's such an important piece around, you know, what are you using today? What does your setup look like today? But what actually do you want this to look like? If you could dream up a perfect solution, what do your needs look like? And what provider, whether it's your current provider or someone new, 
can help you get there. And, you know, you really do need that expert guide. Yeah. Like BTR to help you along that path. Yeah. And, and, and we run into this a lot too. You know, Jenny, we, we run into this a lot of times with people where you have, you have, you have employees everywhere. And I think that's the most important thing for us right now is with employees being up. We talked about that with HelpJoy yeah. and the apps and the things we've done in like series two of, of this Tech Talk Tuesday. But I guess the question is, how did you get them engaged? Because I think the most important thing, is you could have the best technology in the world, but how do you get them engaged in a buying into the system and they're really looking at the technology? I, and you put up with this a lot more than I do, but but really the engagement piece from your employee standpoint, how did you get them engaged? What did you guys do? Well, one of the things that we started with was evaluating what are our wants versus what are we, what do we need? Sure. And we, had, we had to, you know, evaluate what we would not be able to work without. And that was our benefits admin software. Benefits admin software not only is easy for my team to use as far as the payroll and benefits administrators, but also it gives access to all the associates at the you know click of their fingertips, what are my benefits and what are the details? And from there, you have to really look into being very cognizant of how do I communicate with my associates? And with Heidelberg's associates being 24 seven, you know, we have a lot of teams in the market, we have them at night. How can we get them what they need and support them with their needs? Yeah, so let me ask you a follow-up question to that, and I apologize, because I think it's so important to let folks know out there, because this is going to be broadcasted through many channels, what was, what was probably the best way for you to communicate with your associates? Is it email? Is it, you know, I mean, is it a platform? What do you find that works best? And it's funny you say that, because we've been doing a lot of digging into that internally with Heidelberg sure. Distributing and asking a lot of surveys, how do associates like to be communicated with, what works best for them. And it's all across the board. There is no one way. Right. So it really is important that you have a variety of ways that you can communicate and give the associates the tools they need to get the information that works for them. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, one more question here before we wrap up, Jenny, and something that I'm really curious about you know, we hear a lot of objections to technology because the HR teams we work with feel like it is almost going to replace their their roles and their job jobs. So I'd be curious to know, you know, five years ago, you went down this path of implementing technology. How have you seen your actual responsibilities within your team shift as you adopt technology? Great question. My team is now focused on evaluating the data for accuracy, supporting our associates, because you can't replace an HR role. There just isn't. You need that one-on-one -on -one employee engagement. But when everything was manual, we like to contribute to manual can equal mistakes and usually does. Yeah. So with the associates, if everything is, you know, on live feeds, they're evaluating the data themselves, then my team is just evaluating what that associate chose and making sure that everything flows correctly. There's, there's always going to be that need. Things happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, Jenny, thanks for a great discussion today. Just to wrap up a few of the things I know I learned. Um, first off, sometimes you need to know that you have different needs as you evolve as a company, and you need to make sure that you're evaluating partners in the tech space to know if your current solution is the right solution, or if maybe there's another fit. But also that evaluating technology doesn't mean that you need to make a change. You just might learn a little bit something about your current partner that you can use better. Second, you know, technology is really about streamlining processes and, you know, what you just talked to, Jenny, reducing that manual work and improving accuracy within the data. And, you know, your team, the human resources team, plays a critical role in that success. And then finally, computer access and budget shouldn't really be a barrier. There's so many options in the market. You just have to take that step to evaluating them, learning a little bit more, be curious, right. and find the best fit for you. Yeah, and I would ask you this question real quick, Jenny. How much time is, has the technology taken off your plate? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Uh, you, it's hard to evaluate that in hours, right. but I think where we see it saved my team a lot of time, and they, now they can focus on what's important to that job. Yeah. That's awesome. Jenny, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us today. This is awesome. Tech yeah. Talk Tuesdays. This is our fourth time doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For everybody out there, 
you know, engage uh, to a guide to save you hours of time and money. But more importantly, um, we really appreciate you joining. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is our final wrap. We hope we're going to stay around and keep on doing this because yeah. I think a lot of people are really enjoying it. But Jenny, thank you so, so much, you know, for Nicole and myself. Just an absolute wonderful interview with you, a wonderful conversation with you. Uh, if anybody wants more information, feel free to reach out to us, and we'll certainly get there. But thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Have a right. great day. Thanks, Jenny. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.